up guys it's Brett Hoshaphat here or Ezekiel if you prefer but anyway gonna talk for a few minutes here about moderation and when to moderate something in your life and when to just completely cut it out because there are places for both of those and I know everybody says everything in moderation and yeah that's true well, not everything in moderation, but <laughs> most things in moderation. Yes, that is true. And I talk a lot about quitting video games or, well, I don't talk a lot about it, but I mention it from time to time, quitting video games, quitting TV, uh, even quitting caffeine and things like that. When the reality is that these things are fine in moderation, there's nothing inherently wrong with them. It's the abuse of them that becomes a bad thing. So let me just give you a little bit of backstory here from about ages seven to eight until about two years ago, until about 20, 20 years old, I was just, I was all about them video games, man. I was <laughs> all about that. And I even remember distinctly one particular case, and I look back on this memory just cringing, and it's really one of my least favorite memories of my entire life. Uh, not because it was agonizing or anything like that, but just because of the place that I was at in my mind and in my life at that point. And I lived in an apartment complex at that point uh, with my brother and my parents. And we had a friend there. We, we had several friends there, actually. But our best friend there, and we would go play outside and all that kind of stuff. That's what you did when you lived in an apartment complex because, hey, you, you suddenly live right next to all these other kids and it's like hey great you know it's uh we're all kids let's get together and have fun and all that and so we did but to me that still wasn't as fun at that stage in my mind as video games were because i was just so plugged into that stuff you know of course you know video games are designed to maximize the uh the psychological reward for playing it, you know, when you get into dopamine and the reward circuit in your brain and all that kind of stuff. Video games are kind of designed to maximize that and to keep you excited more consistently than a lot of real life stuff does unless you're, you know, unless you're resensitized to, to real life. But I'll get into all that some other time. But I liked video games more than I liked hanging out with you know, my best friends, which was kind of stupid. And I remember, I'll get to the story now, in one particular occasion, it was getting a little bit later, it was about 6 o'clock. You know, the sun was still out, we are still having a good time. Uh, best friend, his name's Kale, he still wanted to, you know, keep playing outside and stuff, and there was no reason not to, except that I looked at my watch, because, yeah, I was, you know, that kid who wore a watch everywhere, and the white tube socks and cargo shorts and all that kind of stuff. And I said, nah, I gotta go. And he's like, well, why can't we play a little bit longer? And I said, no, it's video game time. Those exact words that I remember them verbatim. I said, it's video game time. That was pretty stupid, retarded. Like, I hate to even mention that. I hate to even think about it. <laughs> and maybe that seems like a minor thing to you, but what that reflected, you know, putting that ahead of the people in my life, putting that obsession that I had ahead of these valuable human beings I had in my life right then and there who wanted to be around me, who wanted to spend time with me and to, you know, have that kind of friendship, you know, spend a, a few more, you know, a couple more hours together or something like that. And to trade that in for a computer was, I, I can't even think of a word for it right now, but it was awful. And it is awful to even think about it now. So anyway, fast forward, you know, years down the road, I start to realize that, hey, maybe this is not the way to live. And obviously the first thing you want to do is you want to moderate the consumption of this kind of stuff because hey everything in moderation video games aren't bad but they just have their particular place and they need to stay within that place and not go outside of those outside of those limitations that they should stay within the thing is i'm good at video games i am good at video games and i really really enjoy them 
And what I ended up doing was I just ended up quitting them. And the reason I did that was because it was difficult for me to moderate them. And that's what you have to do with any non-essential thing that's difficult for you to moderate. Whether it's video games or television or even caffeine or something like that. Have it in moderation if that's easy for you. If it's easy to moderate it, then great. Like for me, junk food is easy to moderate, so I do. I don't have to cut out junk food completely. I eat it in moderation and I'm fine. You know, I'm in great shape and everything. No problems there. Video games were difficult for me to moderate. Um, caffeine is not difficult for me to moderate because it, it actually doesn't work on me, which is fine because I'm always like full of energy, you know, bouncing off the walls if I need to be just whenever, you know, it doesn't matter if I have caffeine or not or anything like that. Um, that said, if, if I, you know, if caffeine worked on me, then I would totally use it. You know, I don't think that it's a great thing, but I would definitely, I think it's called cycling caffeine, where where you use caffeine for like a month or a few weeks or something, and then you go off of it for a few weeks and then back on so that you don't get like dependent on it or anything like that. And that's, you know, my only problem with caffeine is that people get dependent on it. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with it. And hey, in moderation, cool. That's fine. That's good even. But if, once you become dependent on it, once you become addicted to video games, once you become obsessed with television or something like that, when you become addicted to junk food, then you have a problem. And if it's hard for you to moderate it, then you need to cut it out completely. Because trying to toe that line and moderate it, when it's that much of a temptation to you, when it's that easy to fall back into full addiction for you, like it, it was for me in video games, trying to toe that line is just going to keep that doorway open back into addiction. And you do not need that. Not with this non-essential stuff. Now, there's a few things that need to be in moderation that you can't uh, that you can't stop using completely, and that's just where it takes full discipline. Food. A lot of people just overeat too much. Doesn't matter if it's junk food or whatever kind of food, they just overeat, and that's the problem. They need to moderate their food consumption, or start powerlifting or something like that. But that that's you know that's an exception there. You've got to keep eating, but you have got to apply discipline and moderate your consumption of that. But as for all these other non-essential things, video games, TV, alcohol, caffeine, any of that, if it's hard for you to moderate it, just cut it out. Just cut it out completely and be done with it. All right? It's tough. It's hard to do. But it's worth it. It's worth getting your life back. It's worth getting control back. All right? Because you shouldn't be a slave to anything like that. That shouldn't become an obsession for you. It shouldn't be something that is just constantly tying up your brain. That's constantly in the back of your mind nagging at you. Okay? So, that's the message. Everything in moderation, yes. Yes, that, that's true. But it's also a dangerous philosophy if you have difficulty moderating things. I, and I'll bring up you know another story. A friend of mine totally obsessed with video games. I tried to get him to moderate it, you know, on and on and on. And the, the problem with a lot of people who are in that situation, and even him, is that they don't think that there's a problem. And that's another place where everything in moderation runs into problems. Because if they think they're moderating it, and they're not, then they, they don't see a problem at all. So that's that's why I tell a lot of people, hey, whether you think you have a problem with video games or not, quit for three months. And maybe that'll help you see, you know, where you're actually at with that. But yeah, I hope that gets the message across. I hope that's helpful to, to somebody out there. But anyway, that's it for now. Y'all have a lovely day. God bless you guys. Take it easy, but not too easy. Check out the channel. There's tons more stuff on there. I mostly talk about how to quit porn. So if you're addicted to porn, we'll talk about that. But... Anyhow, subscribe to this here channel because I'm going to keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. And it's going to be awesome. So, I'll see you all later. Have a lovely day. God bless you guys. Take it easy, but not too easy. I'll see you later.